is day five. Yeah, this is day five. All right, so I'm trying to get this looking in front. So I did do these. I'm on my lunch break from work, so I did these. And this is what the water's looking like. If y'all can see it. Got some little critters off of those. For those. So I'm gonna put those over there. And I have a few more minutes, so I'm gonna. This is what this is looking like here. Not too much progress. It doesn't look like too much progress. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some more of this. And then before I go to work, I'll let you know how much I have gotten done so far. But I have been on my break for about. How much have I been on my break? 25 minutes. So I have five more minutes, I think, and I have to go back to work. So I'm not going to get too much done, but I'm going to go ahead and put these on that table, on the towel to let them dry. And then I'm probably going to do like uh, three minutes of this before I go back to work. And then I'm going to do some more on my, because I get another break, do some more on my break. And when I get off, so today, day five, I am actually going to finish this table. All right. So this is what this is looking like. I don't know. If, it looks like more have been added. Looks like more are in there to me. And then let's go ahead and open up the pantry. This is what the pantry is looking like. Now, there are moths on my ceilings. There are still moths on there, so. This is what the pantry is looking like. The pantry has one in there. <laughs> uh, so I do have to clean this out again. And sweep it again. So I've been cleaning and sweeping it every other day. I'll be cleaning and sweeping it again. I'm going to go ahead and bleach in here. They say don't do that. Don't use that kind of. I don't know why, but we're gonna bleach in there because. But yeah, I have. There's some moth. There's moth there. There's two there. Uh huh. There's one on the wall, and there is one there. So I'm gonna spray those <laughs> and but I'm gonna spray those after I clean this but they're not gonna go nowhere they're sleeping um I don't know if those are female or male so I don't know if the that is gonna catch them but I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting some more of my pack clean and I'll go ahead and transfer this over to that table and then I'm gonna go back to work and then when I go home I'll be right we'll do some th or things I did start like I said these I don't know if I told y'all this, but these you have to really, really press down. So I don't know if my son really pressed them down. You can close them and you think they can think they're pressed, but I don't, and they're airtight. I did Google them, they are airtight. Uh, yeah, I think I told y'all I was gonna read some reviews, but these you have to press down really, really hard and they weren't pressed down hard. So I went ahead and just put some sugar-free con con contents in there, some teas in here. So I do still wanna use them because they're very good containers. And I'm not gonna put any food in them. Okay, ooh, well, it's time for me to go to work. So anyway, I'll check back with you later. Okay, bye. Oh, I don't know where we left out on, but I finally got this box open. So these are the refrigerator, freezer, stackable, organized bins. This is how they look. They're not, they look bigger in person, as you can tell. This is my arm. sizes so this is bigger and so I'm gonna use these um, I'm gonna use them in my pantry and in my refrigerator and I have to order some more I will I'm trying to see okay so this is what makes them stackable so if you fit them this way they'll just go into each other but if you turn them around that's what makes them stackable. That's how they stack. 
So how interesting and convenient. So if I have some fruit or some berries, which we you eat a lot of berries, put the berries down here and just put something else on top. So I like this because I don't know if you all do this, but every time I'm reaching something, I'm always something's always behind something in the refrigerator that I'm trying to get to. And then the next thing you know, I done knock something on the floor or have to take everything out to reach for that th thing in the back. And hopefully this resolves my clumsiness issue because I have a big clumsiness issue. So hopefully these will be good. I'm going to go ahead and put these out. I'm at work, honey. So I'm on my lunch break. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm just taking these out. Then I'm going to have to wash them later. But I'm going to take them out and put it in the kitchen. Then I'm going to wash them later. And then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to organize everything. But anyway, so it is... What's the date? It's date. And let me turn these. I'm making my kids grilled cheese. Let me flip these grilled cheeses over. Okay, so put the grilled cheeses over. All right. And, um, oh, so this it is, I'll show y'all the date. It's the May 29th. And I still have, because they say patience is a virtue. So I still, uh, this is the only thing that I do have in the pantry. I just bought those. The moths cannot get into these. This is not open. So I went ahead and put those in the pantry. But I, the pantry was cleaned multiple times. Um, this might look dirty. It's just because this is the color was wiped off. But the pantry has been cleaned multiple times and swept multiple times. That table you can see, this is just stuff that I just kept over here. But everything else is, as you can see, gone. And then everything had been transferred to over here, right? So I'm gonna gradually put, I'm gonna put the canned goods in first. And then this is where I put my teas and things. I might not do the teas in there. I might put them in the stackables um, because I can probably put all the teas in one thing and then put stack something on top of them since I don't drink tea that much. And what else I want to show? Oh, I want to show you these. Now this, it caught one of those little water bugs. We have a lot of those in Georgia, but this is not that full. This one on top of the refrigerator is really, really full. I should open it and let y'all see. Yeah, let me open it and let y'all see how full this is. So y'all can see it. And I'll just probably just throw it away. So, look at that. Some of them are still fluttering. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's been in here for a few weeks. I think about three weeks this, this process started. I might keep it. Keep it on top of the refrigerator. I did put another one on top of the refrigerator. This is the other one I put on top of the refrigerator. and only caught one. See that one in there? So, I have both of those on top of the refrigerator. Now, I heard that it will stop being sticky over a few weeks, but hasn't even been that long to stop being sticky. Also, I had, I ended up getting freaking fruit flies, because George is known for those. So I bought this, and let's see if it caught anything. Yeah, it caught some moths. Look at that. Then it caught some fruit flies. I don't know if you can see the little fruit flies. So it caught some moss and some fruit flies. So that's good. So we, I'm trying to get it together in here. I am really trying to get it together in here. Anyway, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna wash those. Once I wash those and I'll start putting up things in where I want stuff to go. And then I have some other things coming. And then I'll just keep y'all updated. And we're gonna go through this together. This gives me a chance to organize my pantry, look, make it look really, really pretty. And bye. I not know what day this is. I think this is day six. Okay. So this is what we're looking like on day six. All of this has been cleaned, inspected, 
And I want to have, have this finished by today, but it's not. Okay, so this is how this is looking. And now, let me give you the table. And I think I'm just going to throw a lot of this stuff away, especially the taco boxes. The taco boxes. Because I don't think some taco kits, the taco boxes are wrapped. Some of them, the taco boxes are just sitting in the boxes. So I'm thinking I'm just going to throw most of this away. Most of this is boxes. This right here, that, this right here, that's easy. But um, I think I'm just going to throw most of this away. And the reason why I say the boxes for last is because they're, oh, this chicken fry is going in the trash, y'all. But I don't have no room in my trash cans, as you can see. <sighs> so my son takes it out. That's going to go in the trash. But this is all I have left. And, oh, and let me show you. I don't know if I showed y'all, but we did catch some on this table, so I'm glad I kept it here. We just, we did catch, 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 some, catch, catch, catch some moths in here. Um, we caught some in there. And let's check the pantry. Pantry update. This is the pantry. This is how it's looking. Um, we did catch one moth in here. I don't know if I showed this to y'all. And the one on the refrigerator. We caught some more in this one. So we caught some more in that one. And so this I put all my teas in. So the teas are done. Gave me some more, a little bit more room in my cabinet. Not a little lot, but a little bit more room in my cabinet. So the teas are put in here. Those are all my teas. Not too bad. Um, see how this is not properly pushed down? And I think that's what it was because you have to put some muscle in these things to get them pushed down. Some muscle in them. I don't even see what I'm doing. Let's see. This right here. You gotta put some. You see that little lip? You gotta put some muscle in here. Is it takes a lot, so I'm thinking. I don't think my son actually he brought them like this and put them all up in there like that. That's why so much got infected. But that's okay because I didn't check it. That's not his fault. And this is what children gonna do. What children gonna do? Okay, so now that's in there. So this is the airtight container. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try. I don't know because, like I said, I didn't inspect it. So I don't know, and I haven't read the reviews on them or anything yet. So I'm gonna finish those today. I don't have to work today, I'm off. I have other things I want to do today, but I decided to leave those for next week because I am on a growth in my life. I'm on another journey and I'm gonna share that with y'all. I'm watching Peyton Mayhem, and she's um, actually at this moment, she has a fly or something in her bathroom. <laughs> Why is this fly so big? Yeah, it's a fly in there. <laughs> It is huge. Poor oh. baby. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, that one fly will irritate you. Imagine a house full of moms. <gasps> but I don't see them as much. Like they said, oh, let me get out of here. Let her fight her fly, her fly. Fight her fly. But I don't see them as much. They are nocturnal. Um, I know I said that I was going to spray the ones that are on the ceiling. I didn't spray them. 
I think they end up landing in there because I don't even see them. I'm gonna go to Lowe's today and I'm gonna go get a some kind of moth treatment to put in this closet. Cause I am not waiting. I am not waiting weeks. This pantry is so small, it's like a little closet. And I've been very, very thorough. And I think I've been meticulously thorough. I've been using Q-tips. I've been in every cre crease and crevice of the bags. Like I've been everywhere in, for those on those bags, beans. A lot of stuff I just threw away. I mean, a lot of stuff I just threw away. And, um, I think, yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to wait. I'll probably do one more week, to be honest with you. I'm going to get a treatment for, try to find some kind of moth treatment, if there is one. I have been watching YouTube, and they do use some kind of treatments in there. If I don't, I'm just going to keep bleaching it out and vacuuming it out. I'm going to go get a little handheld vacuum, bleach it out, vacuum it out every day for a week. I think that should be... I think that should be good because the lava, I think they hatch in a week. So why does it take six months? I, I, uh, let me research that. I'm going to get back with y'all. But that's my progress for today. And that's my progress for today. So this is going to be done today. Later on today, it is 8.41 a.m. in the morning. Um, and... I am gonna, I have some errands to run this morning. My daughter is graduating for kindergarten tomorrow. So I have some errands to run and I'm gonna go get those out of the way. Then I'm gonna come do this. I have to go and do this, these dishes. And I have a lot to do today. And um, I'll just update y'all when everything's finished. I will also let y'all know what treatment I get, what I'm gonna put in the closet. Because I don't know if bleach will kill them. I don't know. Let's see. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Let's see what time it is. Now, I haven't been doing this the whole time. I'm about to fix the kids' dinner. And I have made a little bit of progress. Now, this is what the table's looking like now. So, let me give y'all some light in here. So, this is what it's looking like now. I still got that mouth bomb. I'm going to take that out of here. But now the kids can start eating here again. Um, they can start eating here again eating because that's where they're eating because once I had everything over here from the other table I had I had to clear some space from the other table for them to eat um, I ha I went through this stuff oh my goodness I went through this stuff it was so many moth webbing and everything and eggs and I had to go ahead and clean all that stuff off I found a whole bunch of them now this right here that didn't have anything on it before has several in it. It was under the tape. It was in the cracks and the creases of this. So I had to get them off of there and wipe those down. And I found eggs in the creases on the bottom of it. And it was in the dark spot. So I think the reason why you wanna keep your food out is because the, I think they like to breed or mate when it's dark. Um, but like I said, you can still monitor your food. They don't tell, tell us things. So I think you should take check your food when you're leaving it out like this. Check it once a week. Um, and when you see them, wipe it down with vinegar. So that's how this table is looking like. So the kids can eat on this table today. Their food is almost done. I only used one of these so far. <sighs> this table is looking basically the same. I only put a few things in here. Actually, um... So this is what this is looking like. I, I decided to put the teas in here. I have the mint in here. They don't like mint. I think the mint, I think it's mint. Um, basil, is it mint, basil, and um, lavender, I think. So I have the mint here on the shelves. So to keep them away, 
none of this stuff like I said only like two things is open and it's this this is open and one of these are open but other than that I haven't seen any moths flying in here in a week so that's why I was like okay haven't seen anything in here in a week um, we cleaned it out three times and there you go and if you want to see and uh, these syrups I took from over here so if you want to see the table, our progress with the table, I am going to move this. But um, the progress with the table, I'm going to move this. I think I can put, I'm going to put this in the pantry. And I'm going to put this in the pantry. This is not open. And they can't get through this because it's thick. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. But they can't get through this because it's wet. But I will clean this out. Oh, look, there's one in there. I hope y yeah, y'all can see that. Oh, there's some in here. So, yep, definitely gonna get those. This one here, this has caught a lot of them. Right? And so, good. So we're doing, we're doing very, very good. I think we're doing great. For you'd have to, it takes, like they said, an average of six months to get rid of these things. So we're doing great. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that one with vinegar and water. Like I said, what you just saw there, I found over here on some of these bags. And I looked through everything and I didn't see anything inside of them. It looks like they were just like that. They were about to hatch. Those look like they're about to hatch. But what I do is I clean it with vinegar. I take them and I squeeze them to kill them. And um, so that's what, what it's looking like in here. <laughs> I cannot wait for this. It's done. So... I'm probably going to give it another week. Then I'm going to check the pantry again and see what I see because there's stuff in there. So And everything in there is easily accessible and easily cleaned. So in a week, I'm going to check the pantry again uh, and see how we're looking to see if I see anything flying around and everything. Now, you might ask, why don't I have one of these? In here why don't I have one of these in the pantry the reason why I don't have one of those in the pantry is because the, it attracts moths this there's a pheromone on there that attracts the moths so I um, that right there I still have them have those over there and I have three in the kitchen for some reason I don't know why but um I don't know why I have three in the kitchen. But um, they want you to put it away from the food so it can draw it away from the food. You don't want them to go be by the food. So what if the pheromone releases, if I, like if I put that there, by the food, the pheromone releases, and, they're, and then and the pheromone release, and they're gonna go find the female moth, and what if, what if the female moth is there? And they made anyway. So you want to really keep them away from food. Um, I did put them on the refrigerator because I had all moths in this area. This area, I don't see any moths anymore. Now the, the stuff that you see is just, it's not the bugs. It's just probably need to be cleaned. But it's not moths. No. Well, that might be a moth up there. I'm not sure though, uh, but oh, let me see. Those are moths. I just now noticed those are moths. I thought it was just something new to be clean. So I could definitely have some fry fly spray that um, I can spray up there. That's what I've been using. Really don't like spraying it too much because the kids hate the way it smells. But yeah, I still see some moths. But that's okay because we're making progress. We're catching. You see how many we're catching and we're cleaning and we're disinfecting and we're organizing and we're getting everything together. So it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So let's just oh, wish me luck. So like I said, I'm going to, it's going to be another week before I put anything. I'm going to have to check that pantry and just make sure nothing's put in there. I don't know how this is going to work, how it's going to go. But those were probably up there because of the pheromones. So hopefully they'll fly down in those things. We won't have to worry about them anymore. But until then, 
this is how it's looking. This is how it's looking. So I'm not doing any more with this stuff today, just to be honest. Now these I'm probably gonna put in the bottom of the pantry. Just until, just until I figure out what to do with them. You know. Just until I figure out what to do with them, I am going to put them in the uh, bottom of the pantry. Just store them there until I figure out what to do with them. I'm getting, you know. Oh, I'm burping, but yeah that's how we're looking so I'm gonna so the, so the week when I check this I'm gonna also check this and I'm gonna check that stuff over there so we're gonna be checking everything so I'm gonna check this I'm gonna check that and I'm gonna check that over there so we're gonna be inspecting everything so I'll probably you know inspect this and then the next day inspect that then because I'm not probably not gonna do it all the same day because when you do it all the same day it's a lot to do and it gets a little tiring and it says be patient so I'm gonna be patient and and if you're being patient there's no reason to rush and try to do everything the same day it's just no reason to do it so I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it but anyway y'all have a great day so, as I told y'all, I was going to start putting stuff back in this pantry and just putting the canned goods back in there and the, the canned goods and some sauces and stuff. Uh, this, most of the stuff is new, never open. I do have th two things in there that's been open. No, one thing that's been open is the syrup. Oh, yeah, and the Reynolds wrap. But let me tell you, when you're putting your stuff back in here, you still want to inspect it. Do not just put it back here in here and don't inspect it. Because these little critters on that table, there's their, um, I, they wasn't on any of the kangas or anything that I could see. But some of them did, for sure. Some of them was on the bag, the cereals there, just on the outside of it. If they would have hatched, then they would have ate into the bag, but they weren't hatched yet. Thank goodness, so didn't ruin the cereal. But here is what the pantry is looking like so far. I haven't seen any. Like I said, this, this thing has been cleaned out multiple times, and me, me cleaning out, my husband cleaning out. She's trying, okay, showing you the pack of corn. I re really don't know what to do with these things. Hold on, sweetie. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to figure out what to do with these over here. This is black beans. Okay, so, excuse me, baby. So, and then I have the Reynolds wrap up front. I think I'm gonna put those in the pantry. I was gonna put those in those containers, but those are not airtight, and these are teas. And then I did read that, um, that they do like certain teas. So I'm definitely not gonna put them in there. So I'm thinking about putting those in the pantry too. Probably put those in the pantry and some mint in the pantry for right now and i'm going to everything in these bags so this is what the table's looking like now um i'm probably going to put this this i'm going to put those two in the pantry i'm going to put this in the pantry uh is this open that's not open i'll put that in the pantry they can't get through this kind of stuff um so I'm going to put those in the pantry. Anything thick that you know they can't get through, like stuff like this, they can't eat through this. They can't eat through that. So I'm going to put some more of the stuff I'm going to put in the pantry. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and just put these in the pantry. Mommy, what is this after? Let's put this up here. Right now, neither one of these are open. The other whiskers are sauce. Huh? Do you guys think you can pass I'm not putting the pasta in the pantry yet. I'm getting some. <laughs> I have some silk uh, airtight containers coming. They're gonna be. They're gonna be here on the first. Um, this I think I want to sit these up. 
Okay, I think I want to set these up like this. Mm, okay, let me. Um, and oh, I still have some canned goods here to put in the pantry. So I'm gonna put those in the pantry too. These distant confection and wipes. I'm gonna put those on the top of the pantry where the rentals is. So slowly but surely, I'm getting things back together. So that's what we're looking at, at now. It is still the 20th, the 29th. This is just after I've gotten off work and everything. And that is my progress for today. Now this right here, these are open. So I didn't, I, I didn't see anything on them, but those are open. I'm just gonna wait to put that in there. Yeah. Some of the stuff I'm gonna wait on. Yep. Don't look at my tablet. Kate. This right, these can go in the pantry. Yeah, I have to inspect these. Cause they like to be on boxes. They like to be on and in boxes. See, I can't check in these cause I don't want to open them yet. So I'm just gonna wait. They, oh see look, there's one right there. Blah. On the box. So yes, <laughs> so I see why they say leave the stuff out because you can monitor. I was like, what's the part since you can monitor more um, even though, because they're nocturnal even if you're up or not you can bother things but then you can and you can inspect your food and stuff a lot more too but so um yeah let me get that off that and Nani wants to hold the filming I'm gonna get that off that I'm gonna in inspect that stuff some more I'm gonna inspect this stuff on the table some more and just get everything clean out with some vinegar and water. So I'm gonna make me a vinegar and water solution and I'm gonna get all that stuff cleaned up. All right.